Um, I'm here at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, I got started with my coffee, my morning coffee, and I had uh, a donut. Today's donut I had, instead of the Boston cream, I did like a, um, I did a, a vanilla bean cream. It was a powdered lemon vanilla donut or whatever. But here is a, oh, thank you, sir. So he gave me a napkin. <laughs> okay. So anywho, so far I have two tweets. And the first one is about the podcast because I'm dropping a new episode today at five. Uh, you alive, bitch. <laughs> uh, all the haters about to be mad, but yeah, no, we have a consistent place to uh, clean up. Sorry. Sorry that you are mad. It's none of my business. Anyway, um, I don't even want to begin to discuss anything with these people. Bottom line, Arana has three jobs outside of YouTube. And let me turn this around. There we go. I have three jobs outside of YouTube. And so I'm about to uh, tap into all three of them. Even though one of them is under fire in the, in the news today, Uber. <laughs> Uber, they on some boycott Uber, cancel Uber. I was like, eh. I ain't drove for Uber in like, shit, like two, may, shit, maybe three years. I joined Uber, I became an Uber driver in 2014. I drove Uber for like six, seven months. And, you know, I kept a good stand in and all that stuff. And my account with them was always good and open. I just, uh, I stopped needing it. I initially became a driver, you know, for like extra money and whatever. But uh, I ended up stopping needing it. And then I also liked Lyft better. So I would just gravitate toward Lyft whenever I was in the mood to like drive and do whatever. But yeah, like uh, I drove for them for like six, six, seven months or whatever. But I'm still employed. Like <laughs> Uber straight up sent me an email the other day like, hey, you need to get your license. I was like, yeah, 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 I'll be there in a minute. Like they, they show sent me an email. Um, but yeah, like Uber, Lyft, and Postmates. I'm employed with all three. And I'm a YouTuber, so that's four. And so I'm about to just get back into that. Um, right now. This is, I just stopped to have breakfast. I'm about to get into uh, my routine for today. There's, um, you know, I want to, um, I, I definitely want to do some uh, circulation work with these feet and uh, with these legs. Like, I need to stretch and really, like, do some yoga moves with my body. Uh, so, I'm about to do that because I need to. I need to, you know, just get the circulation and the blood flow all together. So, I'm about to go do uh, some yoga moves and get everything together and do all of that. Uh, and that's going to do wonders for me. Plus, like, I mean, it's been a minute since I've just been able to stretch out. So I'm going to go get that done. Then I'll do some some ab work, a little, little, little abby ab work. And then, um, then I'm going to Barnes & Noble. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to Barnes & Noble's. And I'm about to give my life at Barnes and Nobles. I'm about to just sit and be amongst the books and finish what I started uh, two days ago, like three days ago. Um, so the day that I was in Santa Monica, right, and then I went to Barnes and Nobles in um, Marina Del Rey. When I tell you that, no, I have a membership, baby. Um, when I tell you that I was in love. Like, seriously, like I went and I, I saw that they had a whole tarot section in Barnes and Noble. I sat down and, oh my gosh, she's sitting up here thirsty, make thirsty with half her titty out, have the nerve to be talking about everybody else. Like, everything about her picture screams desperation. Like, I have no personality. I have to do this. Like, everything about it, like, the titty's so exposed. It's like, it's like no meat, meat right here. She got it all. <laughs> and then her picture's all. <laughs> it's like, girl, we get it. Nobody knows you. It gives a shit. You got to show a titty. We got it. We get it. Um. Anyway, so um, I was in Barnes and Nobles, and they had a whole 
tarot section and before I knew it y'all I had like six books in a stack and I sat on the floor and I was there and I was enjoying my little self and um, as I was looking through the books I was like I could just sit here and just be chilling you know and um, then the next thought that I had after that was like yo like I might as well just like make this my little store make this my little hangout where I like figure out things you know and then um, right after that, my next thought was, but is this where you want to be? And uh, my first initial answer, my instinctive answer was no, because it's too cold. That was the only thing. It was like, no, because it's too cold. Like, it's just going to get cold. And being out here uh, when that temperature drops and being out here uh, when that temperature drops I'm not going to be as motivated to go to the bookstore. I'm not going to be that motivated to go anywhere um, because I'm going to be cold and I'm going to be focused on trying to be warm. And, you know, um, not to focus on all the negative aspects or none of that because you, you just got to do the best you can do daily, right? Being in the situation that I'm in, it's like, you know, um, I'm trying to acquire housing and a vehicle, you know? So it's like... I don't want to think about weather. You know what I mean? I want to be in a situation like where I'm at right now, where it's just not even a part of the equation, where it's nothing that I even have to think about or um, focus on or face on a daily basis. Um, and I decided back in 2014, actually, back when I was in Chicago, I decided that that's very important to me. Like, it was that year. Like, we in 2019 going on 2020. We about to be in 2020. In 2014, I already had my conversations with myself. I already checked in with myself and decided what was important to me. Independent of everybody else. It had nothing to do with nobody. I already decided for me that I was like, I want to be in places where weather is not a factor. Where every day I can get up and do whatever it is that's in my heart or that I desire to do for the day without having to factor in weather. Like, I don't want to think about that shit. I just don't. I don't want to factor it. I don't want to even worry about it, you know, whatever. And, um, of course, that came after that, the worst winter I've ever experienced in my entire life. Chicago had messed around and had a winter that was the worst winter they had in 50 years. Okay? And your girl crumbled. It was too much. It was too much. Um... And that's when I headed back to Los Angeles. I was like, okay, clearly Los Angeles is home. And I need to go back there and do that. Uh, everybody talked shit. Everybody talked shit. Oh, you got to go all the way back to California. Boo, boo, boo. Bitch, I should have never left. I only came here because mama. Like, I shouldn't. I should have never left. What do you mean? I was happy in California. It was y'all that wasn't happy with me being there. And I went back to California. And I stayed there, and within two years, I had that Redondo Beach bar. And I was happy. I'm always happy when I'm not around them. <laughs> always. Every single time. And they know it. But they just don't want me to be happy. And uh, it took this experience with Fifth. It took all this other stuff to really for them to really show it. Because I knew it. I've been knew it. I've been knew it. But, you know, motherfuckers like to lie and deny the truth. No, you just think somebody wants to be jealous of you. No, you just think. No, I don't just think. Bitch, I, don't, I be chilling. And y'all be mad. I don't be on nothing. I be on nothing. And y'all still be mad. It ain't no making y'all happy. So I don't, you know. Bitch, I'm all the way on the West Coast. I'm like, I'm a day and a half away from y'all. And you got to drive a day and a half to get from Chicago to L.A. You got to get on a six-hour flight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm away. I'm minding my business. And y'all still mad. I don't want to be up under that energy. You know what? I am happy for some the person that just asked me that. What about the last three years? Bitch, I'm happy. That's what, get, that's what brought me here. And what was so funny was, you know, you say things. I ain't even gonna go into all of that. But you say things to people like, ha ha, she's full of it all. Oh, she's delusional. Okay, bitch, watch me. You motherfuckers didn't follow me all the way to Palm Springs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> People be sitting there, you ain't finna do, you can't do, you a bitch. Okay. I listen to that and be like, all right, whatever. 
Okay, y'all keep thinking that. Ended up in a better situation than what I'm in, than what I was in. Fuck out of here. Like, and here's the deal. Like I said, out here is like suburbia. It ain't nothing special going on. It's not. I'm a, it's, it's nothing special going on. But I like it. I, I dig this. I, I'm cool with it. I'm the type of person that, like, I don't mind going wherever I want to go. I've never been a person that felt, like, locked down or caged down to environment. You know, so when this doesn't satisfy my soul for whatever reason, I'll get on a plane to go somewhere. I'll get on the train. I'll get, you know what I mean? Like, I'm one of those people. I don't, like, that doesn't, I'm cool. But I like it. And so, like, this reminds me of... Like I said, when I was away at college, except it's hotter, which is awesome. I love this heat. It was 90 yesterday. I fucking love that. Let me see what it is right now. I'm going to look at the weather. 